Hey, so today I thought I'd give you a tour of my home office and desk setup. Now I tried some different things with my camera and as you're gonna see, it's not always in focus. Also, one of my mics, I said the name wrong. It's not the SMB7, it's the SM7B. I am still very much not an expert in videography, which you can see from my videos. There's gonna be mistakes in here. There's gonna be some times where things are out of focus. I am learning and I am gonna to try to get better, but I'm gonna keep the mistakes in so you can see, hey, we all gotta start somewhere. So please forgive the mistakes and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so starting from here on some shelves, I've got a little fridge or some drinks. I've got a little Godzilla, a couple of extra mics, and as we move up, got some pictures of my kiddos, future grandson. And then up here is where I would store my cameras. Then I've got an old Dell all in one. And then when we come around over here, this is where I have my rack. At the bottom, I've got a little homemade server that I'm running TrueNAS on. On the shelf right above, I've got a Resi Mini encoder, along with a couple of extra switches. Above that, I have a Resi decoder. Above that, I've got a 24-port switch. And right above that is a 24-port uh, patch panel. And then above that, I've got a small little mini computer that I run Proxmox on. Next to that is my 2.5 gig uh, switch for my internal network. So then as we come up, got a few of my iPads, an old 2011 iMac. Then up here, I've got the monitor for the decoder. On this monitor, I keep track of TrueNAS, Casa OS, and uh, Synology, which down here, I've got another server that I have uh, my Synology NAS on top of, and Casa OS is running on the one below it. On the desk, I've got an M1 Mac Mini, which is used to monitor this up here. Then I've got an M2 MacBook Air, a Rodecaster 2, I've got my Stream Dex. The small one is for controlling the view for my NASes. The larger one is connected to my M1 Max MacBook Pro, which is also connected to my Apple Studio display, as well as my Apple Thunderbolt display. Then I've got the Shure SMB7, which is connected back to my Rodecaster Pro 2. Back over here, I've got an M1 Mac Mini, which is connected to my Samsung M8 4K monitor. Then over here, I've got my AirPods Max. I've got the Rode Procaster, which is connected to my Elgato Wavelink. Back over here, which is connected to the M3 MacBook Pro that I use for work. And I have two ASUS ProArt 27 inch monitors connected to that. And yes, for work, I do use the Apple Magic Mouse. I do find it quite handy. It may not be the most ergonomic, but I do like it. And then over here, I just have some more knickknacks. I do have an iMac G3, which does work. I've also got a Surface Book 2, a few old MacBook Pros, that's two 2009s, one 2012 MacBook Pro, which was the first one with the Retina display, and then the 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro, which was the last time Apple made the 17-inch. Then right here, on top of the, the shelves, I've got a 2015 MacBook Pro, Oh, and up here I do have an Opal C1. It's 
well as an Elgato face cam, an additional Elgato face cam, and an Elgato face cam Mark II, just so I can get different views. Then I've just got some knickknacks up here, along with my battery chargers for my cameras. A green screen, which is not often used. And some cables, some more knickknacks and keyboards. Pictures of my kids, along with Darth Vader and Star Trek. Back over here, I've got another studio light, and we're back to the beginning. Oh, and up here I've got Audio Engine A1s with some additional key lights. And this is my mid-2024 desk setup. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. Please like and subscribe. That's always appreciated, and I hope you guys have a great day.